Hey guys, I want to share with you a very exciting app that has just come out recently. It's called Cast for Education. And so uh, to access that or to get that, uh, you go to the web store and you just type in Cast for Education. And then it is an app, so uh, you just click Add to Chrome. I've already added this myself. So there's no need for me to add it. Now to access this, after you add it, is you can go to your apps. If you're on a Chromebook, it's uh, down in the lower left-hand corner. You click the magnifying glass, and then you choose all apps. If you're on a desktop like I am, I'm going to click apps in my Chrome browser. And if that is not showing up for you, then just then you just go to Chrome colon backslash backslash apps and that will show up your apps. I'm gonna click on my pages here, so I'm gonna find Cast for Education. Right there it is, so I'm gonna click on it. And it will open up for me. And it will open up for me like this. Now I've already set mine up, so I'm gonna show you what it should look like for you. So this is what will pop up, the settings box. It is gonna ask for a receiver name and so this is because you are going to be the receiver of casts or where people send you stuff that you've shared access to. Uh, this will let them know uh, who they're casting to or sharing stuff, sharing their screens with. Uh, you can do whatever you wish, but make sure it's identifiable to those that you have shared this access with. There's some other settings that we'll go over. So I've checked automatically full screen new presentation sessions. That means that when someone casts to you, that it's automatically going to be full screen. So if you uncheck that, you would just have to maximize the cast for education window. The display background images from the web, I've unchecked that um, because sometimes that takes a little bit more power or bandwidth uh, to send to your screen uh, if somebody's casting to you so it, it might lag a little bit if you check that but um, it's okay to check that box and then we're gonna click save or if it's your first time as well it may say a uh, register instead of save and then it will register this app and then it will start showing say when you do any kind of changes to the settings uh, stuff. So this is what your um, cast window looks like. Uh, no one's casting to me yet. This shows my receiver name down here. This shows my Google account. Now if you look up, there's a blue share button access to those that you share the option or the ability to cast to your screen. So I'm going to click share and then down where it says add people you're going to type in email addresses or what's popping up now is my uh, class, Google Classrooms that I have. Now this is not available just yet in my county or my district or because we have different email addresses than our students. Google has promised in the near future to open up the ability for us to share air access to those that are outside of our domain. So that's not available just yet. So you can share access with those that have the same domain as you do. You can also use this to cast to your LCD projector. So you can cast to yourself. So uh, for instance, you can open up the Cast for Education app on your desktop and then on your mobile device, you can cast to your LCD projector. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but before I do that, I'm so I'm going to show you how to add someone uh, to give them access to cast to your screen. So I'm going to type in the email address.
And then you have some options here. So you can allow this person to request the ability to cast to you. Or they can automatically, when they do cast, it automatically presents if you have this window open. So I'm going to just do can request. That means it's going to notify you that someone's trying to cast to you. And I'm going to click add. So it did give this user access to cast to my device. Then I'm going to click save. So as long as you have this cast window open, that means that anybody that you've shared access with will be able to cast to you. So I'm going to demonstrate this. So what a person that's trying to cast you will do is click on their cast icon which is an extension when you click on that it's going to show who is receiving cast that you have access to cast to uh, so you're going to find the person you want to cast to if it's yourself then you can choose yourself which that's what I want to do you also, if you click the cast to button, then you can share your tab or you can share your desktop, which if you cast your desktop, that includes everything that's on your desktop. And if you cast a tab, it's just casting one tab in your browser. So I'm going to cast my desktop and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm using a Chromebook. So when I click my name, because I'm, I'm receiving casts and I've shared access with myself since I'm the owner. So when someone casts to you, it's going to load their screen. So you can see my cursor is live. So I'm on the Chromebook and I'm casting at this moment. Now, this does not cast sound, so if you had a device that you wanted to cast a video uh, to, then whatever device that you're casting from, you're going to have to plug in the sound or turn up the sound. So I'm going to stop my cast or end my cast, so I'm going to click on the cast button again, or, or extension again, and then I'm going to click stop. So now my device is available to be casted to, to those, from those that I've shared access with. So this is Cast for Education. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to support you, and I hope you enjoy using this wonderful tool. Uh -huh.